Every 2K, I embark on a journey to find and to create the most overpowered, most well-rounded build that will dominate on both ends, that can guard one through five, that can ISO any build, that can green from anywhere on the court, and that can get contact dunks. In NBA 2K20, I truly believe I created the most overpowered build in that game, which was the post playmaker. This build was getting snatch blocks. This build was isoing locks. This build was greening. This build was getting those contact dunks. All while being 6'7 minimum wingspan. You move on to the beginning of NBA 2K21 current gen. I created the mid-range playmaker. Now, the thing was, people said if you didn't have a high three ball, you couldn't shoot. So I couldn't remake my post playmaker just yet. So I had the mid-range playmaker. He was greening from absolutely everywhere on the court. He was minimum weight, six foot seven, max wingspan. He could play paint defense. He could play perimeter defense. He could do absolutely everything while at the same time still being able to ISO. Now, it's been seven months we played 2K21, and I believe I have found the most overpowered build, the build that resembles LeBron James in his prime the most with the defense, the playmaking, the shooting, absolutely every single aspect. This is LeBron James in NBA 2K21. Yo guys, what's your boy, King Sister, and you're back with another video. Before we get into this video, I just want to remind you all to the Kings and Queens. And I hope you all having a very, very blessed day. And I'm here with an NBA 2K21 build video. And this is going to be the build of LeBron James. This is going to be the best build in NBA 2K21. I truly, truly, truly believe it. I've used about three, four builds this year. And I just think this is the most well-rounded by far. So the position is going to be a small forward. As you guys did see in my intro, this is going to be the same type of pie chart as my post playmaker was in NBA 2K20. So it's going to be primary defending and playmaking. Guys, I'm excited. I'm excited because I'm I'm close to getting this build to 99 overall. You'll see as I as I go through the video what exactly is needed uh, for this build to be as successful as possible. But the pie chart, you could either go the fastest or you go with the vertical. I, I do like to go with the vertical, to be honest, right here with the 83, 81, 87 instead of the 87, 85, 74. I go with the vertical just because I feel like it might help you down low, like jumping in and rebounds and stuff like that. Here we go. Where are you going to allocate your attribute upgrades? This is important stuff right here. So in my post playmaker in 2K20, I believe my layout was was 9, 14, 20. It was, all right, well, let me start finishing. Finishing, I think it was 6 or 7. It was 7, 9, uh, 14, and 22. So this is going to be similar, but it's going to have even more badges. So what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna max out close shot, max out driving dunk, and max out driving layup, right? You're not gonna touch, we well, are gonna touch standing dunk a little bit to get up to six. So you're gonna put your standing dunk, standing dunk up one so you can finish with six finishing badges, right? So then you're gonna go to your mid range, you wanna max out your mid, you wanna max out your three, you're gonna max out your, your free throw, and then you're gonna put post fade up one. So that's gonna be seven. Then the rest, you got playmaking is almost max. You don't want this on 21, so you go right there. So you're gonna have post moves on 49. So basically, everything's maxed out except staying done post with post fade and post moves. And the defensive badges. Here's where you could, I mean, guys, I'm kind of giving you the foundation, the base of what I believe to be the best build is, but this build is gonna be able to run the one through three on threes, and it could run like I don't know if it could really true. I haven't tested it out yet enough. I don't know if it could truly run the five and rec. I think this is more of a, on offense. It could definitely run. It's a point guard on offense, but then on the defensive side of the ball on the fives and rec or five five prime. I think it's more suited to play as the four defensively. But it could it could most definitely guard the ball handler. You know that I think that's where the strength is. This is the versatility of it. So the interior defense all the way up, perimeter defense, lateral quickness, steal. Look at that, 82, 82, 81, and look at your speed. Like you could definitely guard against a, uh, a guard against a big or a uh, or a guard. So your blocks gonna go up and your defensive rebound is gonna go up. Here is where the 11 badges. It just depends on what you wanna do for offensive rebound. I don't know if you necessarily wanna touch this because think about it this way: in threes, 
all right this i guess offensive rebound is a pretty decent stat to have but when you're running 5-5 prime you want to especially this build if you're playing next to like a paint beast glass clean finish like someone that's six nine seven foot let them stay there and get the try getting the offense rebound like you as a player just run down on the other side and try stopping the fast break you know what i'm saying so the offensive rebound i don't think is very very important on this type of build but you could put it up all the way the 11 and they could just stick there and you don't get any extra badges or with those 11 extra badges you could put post moves up to here so up to 22 playmaking you can get your shooting up or is it your shooting? Hold on, let me let me figure this out real quick. Is it shooting? You get it to eight badges. You can get your shooting to eight badges. And then with the extra two. Yeah, so you could you could do that. You could do six, eight, twenty-one, nine. Oh, nineteen. Oh, I messed up. Hold up. I'm messing up. I'm messing up my own video. So you want to put that down and then yeah. So you need to get to twenty. So twenty right there. And then you could do eight. And then yeah, perfect. So it's perfect. Six, eight, twenty-one, twenty. How many badges is that? 41 49 50 foot 55 badges that's a lot of badges so that's the badge layout you could as i said you could change it you know but i really think this is going to be the best way your body shape doesn't really matter at all i usually go slight because it's funny and you're going to be really slight anyways I actually go like built i actually go burly so six seven is the height you could go six six you are right, here's the thing you could go six six if you don't want to max if you don't want to wait to get this this build's full potential at 99 overall you could go 66 but if you have the patience and you're going to go and be a my career warrior you could go 67 and get all all the potential unleashed in this player so 67 you want to go minimum weight right minimum weight until it doesn't matter anymore for your speed so right here so 191 pounds is what you're going to be and then wingspan you're going to want to max it right so you see your ball handling's at 76 and your driving dunk is at 81. You need an 85 driving dunk to get contact dunks, and you need an 80 ball handle to get pro dribble moves. So that's what I'm saying. This build needs to be 99 overall. So with 99 overall, you're gonna have plus, let's say 99 overall plus your workout, you're gonna have 94 speed, 92 acceleration, and what is that? Uh, at 95 vertical. Like that's just those stats. That's just insane. With contact dunks, with pro dribble moves with the great defensive stats with the all hall of fame defensive stats it's just gonna be great and then right here i think you want to go playmaking because with this build i truly think with this build you're gonna want to run the one in rec or pro-am or 3v3 park or two two twos on the on the park and the twos on the park i think playmaking is the build is the badge you want to go so complete the build and then i'll show you the the, the badge layout so right here facilitating finisher it's got shades of Macau Bridges, I don't know how. Chris Mullen, I think it's Jimmy Butler. I think I honestly I think this is a LeBron build, as it's in my in my uh, intro and in my thumbnail. I do think this truly is LeBron. Uh, but let me show you guys exactly what badges we're gonna throw on this build because you got a lot to work with. You're gonna have contact. Right, so we, you're gonna have contact dunks. So you want to put contact finisher on gold. Um, here is maybe like Giant Slayer silver, uh, bronze, and maybe slithery silver, or you could do it the other way around. Uh, I would say fancy, but fancy forward doesn't work like it did last year. So maybe slithery on bronze or gold, giant slayer on silver. Just personal preference at that point. I would probably go uh, silver slithery and bronze giant slayer. Then move on to the shooting. You got eight shooting badges. You might as well throw that on catch and shoot. And then you want to throw it on uh, range extender 100%. And then here, honestly, if you, if you if you want to throw all your chips in one basket, you could throw hot start on silver. I think that would be probably the most effective for you. Or you could throw one on hot zone and one on corner. Because uh, if you let someone else run the point guard spot, just spot up short corner. You'll be able to hit your mid-range shots with a 73, three, uh, 73 mid-range. I believe so. Plus, if your teammates got Hall of Fame floor general and Hall of Fame dimer. So move on to the next play making. So if you're going to be the pure point guard on your team, you're going to want to run dimer Hall of Fame, floor general Hall of Fame, handles for days Hall of Fame, quick first step Hall of Fame, ankle breaker Hall of Fame, and then well, ankle breaker. Nah, nah, hold up. You want to throw a lot. It depends your play style. I throw a lot of lobs. I like when my big men cut. So I usually throw a lot of city passer on bronze. You don't have to. You could do needle threader on bronze. You're going to need unpluckable on bronze at, at minimum. You know what I'm saying? Then you could throw bronze, lob city, 
Ron's Bella, like that, like that type of layup. Or if one of the probably one of the other guards on your team is gonna run floor general, so you could take off floor general completely. You could throw unpluckable and then Hall of Fame ankle breaker, just like that. But you have plenty of badges on playmaking semester on and find your perfect, uh, your perfect badge layup. Then we go to defensive. This is like, am I gonna look at this? Look how versatile this build is. You got that 80 lateral quickness, 80 steel, 80 uh, all the perimeter defense, all that stuff. Throw Hall of Fame clamps. With that 94 speed, you tell me you can't guard a little guard that's hiding high behind screens. You can lock up a little guard. Then you're gonna throw chase down on um, bronze. It depends. You're gonna set picks. You can throw this. I would say silver box, Hall of Fame rebound, Hall of Fame rim, Hall of Fame intimidator, and then for the rest you could put like uh what would i say maybe pickpocket a oh, pogo is an important badge pogo is a very very important badge so maybe you want to take down like clamps maybe silver gold maybe put that pogo on silver i think this is the perfect badge layout if you're gonna run the big or if you're gonna guard the guards you know you could be you could you could be helping in the pick and roll game the pick and pop game and you could switch onto the guard you know uh but yeah i think that is confirming. That is the badge layout. Let's just take it back one more time. So at 99 overall, you're gonna have 85 driving dunk. You have a 73 midi, 80 ball handle. You have 87 primary defense, 86 lateral quickness, 88 steel. It's good. This build is just it's game breaking. I'm telling you. And guys, if you did oh, if you go and test this build, I want you to comment down below. If you guys did make it to the end of the episode, comment down your gamer tag on Xbox. If you ever want to run it with me. Um, and guys, overall, if you did enjoy this episode or don't enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to your boy, Kingstar7. And I'm out. Peace.